Imagine opening a class and seeing a field sitting there. It looks important, but then you realize it's barely used. It's like finding a treadmill in someone's house that's only used to hang laundry. That's the vibe of a temporary field classic code smell. These sneaky little fields might seem harmless, but they clutter your design, confuse other developers, and hint that your class might be trying to do too much. Stick around, and I'll show you how to sniff them out and clean them up. Imagine a world where temporary fields are everywhere. Every class is bloated with fields that are only used in rare cases. You open a user class and see fields like special birthday discount code, last bookmarked article, and temporary shipping address. None of these are relevant most of the time, but they're just all there. You're trying to debug an issue, and every method in the class has if checks for whether these fields are set. The save method has a 15-line conditional block just to figure out which fields to persist. It's a nightmare. You can't tell what this class is really responsible for anymore. Every little change introduces new bugs. What used to be a simple feature update now feels like diffusing a bomb because the class is cluttered with fields that don't belong. This isn't just messy, it's a recipe for poor performance, harder debugging, and frustrated developers. In the real world, this happens when classes try to do too much or when developers tack on features without rethinking the design. Temporary fields may seem like a quick solution, but they're like weeds. They grow fast, spread everywhere, and choke out your clean code. A temporary field is a class variable that only gets used in certain conditions or methods. Here's an example. At first glance, this might look fine, but if special instructions only applies to certain order types, why is it there for every order? It bloats the class and confuses other developers who expect it to be relevant everywhere. What are some signs that you're dealing with a temporary field? Number one, inconsistent usage. The field isn't used in every instance of the class. It signals the field might not belong to the class after all. Number two, limited relevance. The field is only relevant for specific operations or scenarios. This adds confusion and bloats the class unnecessarily. Number three, excessive conditional logic. Frequent if or switch statements check whether the field is needed. It indicates poor encapsulation and increased code complexity. The most common solution is to move the field to a more relevant place. For example, in the order class, we could create a specialized subclass or use composition. Solution one, subclassing. By moving special instructions into a subclass, we isolate it to orders that actually need it keeping the base order class clean and focused. Solution two, composition. By moving special instructions into its own class or a subclass, we've made a crystal clear. This field isn't relevant to every order. Bonus tip, the null object pattern. If the field is optional but still frequently accessed, consider using the null object pattern to avoid null checks. This makes your code safer and easier to maintain. If every field in your code is a sign of responsibility, what story is your class trying to tell? And does that story still make sense? 